Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus MathPrint series. In this session, we look at different ways to explore arithmetic sequences. Let's start with a simple matchstick problem. Each time another triangle is added to the pattern, we need two more matches. So, the quantity of matches required for each additional triangle is constant. The pattern starts with three matches. We can model this pattern using a recursive technique on the calculator's home screen. Start by typing in 3 for the first term, then press enter. Now press plus. Notice the abbreviation for answer, ANS, automatically appears. The current value of answer is 3, so if we add 2, we'll get 5. This is the quantity of matches required for two triangles, and the second term in our sequence. Press enter again. The previous calculation is repeated, but now answer equals 5, so we get the quantity 7, the number of matchsticks required for three triangles, or the third term in our sequence. If we keep pressing enter, the sequence continues to generate. This is the easiest way to generate a sequence, but it's easy to lose count, and it would take a long time to calculate, let's say, the 50th term. We can use a formula for an arithmetic sequence combined with the sequence command. To make this technique really powerful, I'll use the memory locations on the calculator. Our sequence has the first term equal to 3, so I'll store that in A. The common difference is 2. I'll store that in D. Now press data to access the lists, then again to access the data menu. Navigate across to operations and select sequence. I'll store the sequence in list 1 and press enter. The calculator now prompts for an expression. I can type the formula in for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. The only difference here is that the calculator uses x as the variable instead of n. I'll generate the first 50 terms. Navigate down to Sequence Fill, and there's our sequence in List 1. The notation at the bottom of the screen gives us the term number and the term itself. Press second function and down arrow to jump straight to the bottom of the list. So to create 50 triangles, we need 101 matches. Finally, suppose you have lots of individual terms you want to calculate. You could use the function editor. Press the table key and select the first option to edit. You can type in the formula directly or use the memory locations again. Press enter. I don't have another sequence, so I'll just press enter again to bypass g of x. I can generate a table of values, much like the lists but I'll change to x equals, so I can type in my own values, and select Calculate. Now I can type in the values for whatever terms I want to calculate. I can also use this function command on the home screen. I'll quit out of the table, press the table key, and this time just select f of x, and enter the term number. Now let's revisit something I did earlier. I stored the values in memory locations. Suppose I have a new pattern. This one starts at 4. So I'll store 4 in A, 
and it goes up by 3 each time, the common difference. So I'll store 3 in D. Now let's see how many matches I need to calculate 50 squares. I can recall f of x. What about the lists? If I go back to the sequence command, you'll see the formula is still stored there. So I can just keep on pressing enter. And there's all the terms for my square sequence. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series. See you next time.